Welcome to MTI's video installation series for Gravity Cavity. Fasten OSB in accordance with IBC R602.3. Space sheathing in accordance with IBC R602.3-5. The literature on most popular weep screeds actually says that they don't weep. L&R weep screed is the only weep screed on the market today that actually weeps. L&R weep screed is placed at or below the foundation plate line in accordance with IBC R703.6.2.1. Fasten the L&R weep screed to the framing and or to the foundation. Apply the weather resistive barrier over sheathing and studs in accordance with IBC R703.2. Install as per manufacturer's instructions. The weather resistive barrier should lap the attachment flange of the LNR weep screed in accordance with IBC R703.6.2.1. Before applying gravity cavity to the wall, Back wrap the fabric and tape it in place to act as a bug screen. Place the gravity cavity into the L&R weep screed at the bottom of the wall. Before fastening gravity cavity, make sure the bottom edge with the fabric is slid all the way into the bottom of the L&R weep screed trough. Fasten gravity cavity to the wall with staples, making sure the fabric is facing the weather. Lightly tack the gravity cavity to temporarily hold it in place. The completed thin veneer wall will permanently sandwich it in this position. Roll out and tack the next row of gravity cavity above the previous row with the fabric skirt overlapping the row below. Gravity cavity is applied in shingle fashion. At the top of the wall, field fabricate the gravity cavity to fit the remaining space if necessary by scoring the gravity cavity with the utility knife and cracking off the excess material, leaving the fabric. Take the excess fabric and lap it over the top edge of the gravity cavity and tape it into place to act as a bug shield. Position the gravity cavity so there is a small gap between the top edge of the gravity cavity and the soffit. This is for ventilation purposes. Fasten the gravity cavity to the wall with staples, making sure the fabric side is facing the weather. Use a spacer to make sure that there is a minimum 3 8 inch gap between the metal termination and the soffit. Fasten the metal termination to the framing using the spacer to make sure there is a minimum 3 8 inch gap between the top of the metal termination and the soffit. A minimum 3 8 inch gap between the metal termination and the soffit ensures proper ventilation behind the veneer. This illustration shows how air flows out of the top of the gravity cavity and out of the drainage cavity. Place the bottom edge of the first course of expanded metal lath into the bottom of the trough of the LNR weep screed. Fasten the expanded metal lath in accordance with the International Residential Building Code R703.6.1. Expanded metal lath sheets are installed shingle fashion, with each course overlapping the previous course 3 inches. The top sheet of expanded metal lath is placed into the channel of the top metal termination. Press the scratch coat mortar to completely envelop the expanded metal lath and fill the LNR weep screed. Press the scratch coat of mortar to completely envelop the expanded metal lath and fill the metal termination. Note the use of a spacer to keep the 3 8 inch ventilation gap from filling with mortar. Strike the mortar smooth. Scratch the mortar to make grooves to aid in attaching the thin veneer. When the LNR weep screed is filled with mortar, the channels stay open. This provides the gravity cavity with the necessary space to promote proper drainage and ventilation. This illustration shows how the LNR weep screed, used along with gravity cavity, promotes rapid drainage and ventilation. Before applying the thin veneer, Slide a spacer into the 3 8 inch gap between the metal termination and the soffit to prevent the gap 
from filling with trash mortar. Butter the back of the thin veneer to apply to the scratch coat. Be sure there is enough mortar to attach properly to the scratch coat. Apply the thin veneer starting at the top of the wall. Starting at the top of the wall eliminates the potential for trash mortar falling on already applied veneer stone. When applying thin veneer at the bottom of the wall, pay special attention so that you do not plug the weep holes with excess mortar from buttered stone. After applying the stone at the top of the wall, take out the spacer and make sure that the 3 8 inch gap is clear of trash mortar. After the stone is applied to the wall, attach a soffit trim board in front of the stone, leaving a small gap for ventilation. The trim board also provides a finished appearance and increased weather protection. This illustration shows how air flows out of the top of the gravity cavity and out of the drainage cavity. Thank you for viewing this gravity cavity installation guide. For additional information, please contact Masonry Technology at 800-879-3348.